بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وی آر اسٹڈینگ اباؤٹ ڈفرینٹ کائنڈ آف ہیبیٹیٹ اینڈ اپ ٹل ناؤ وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ اباؤٹ فور ٹیریسٹریل ہیبیٹیٹ رین فارسٹ گراس لینڈس ہاٹ ڈیزرٹ اینڈ کولڈ ڈیزرٹ آلسو نون ایز تھنڈرا اینڈ وی ہیو آلسو اسٹڈیڈ اباؤٹ ٹو ایکواٹک ہیبیٹیٹ which are ocean water habitat and the fresh water habitat. Today we are going to study about one new habitat. This is called the urban habitat. Urban habitats include big cities that have roads, tall buildings and public parks, etc. Many plants and animals live in the urban habitat. And right now you can listen to the crow, to the manna, to the sparrows. Eagles live in the urban habitat. Dogs and cats live in the urban habitat. And ma- mice and rats, they live in the urban habitat. So you can see all these animals around you. So they live in urban habitat. So can you name some of the animals that that you can see in your neighborhood and of course the lizard also lives in the urban habitat you can see these animals they adapt to the situation to the surrounding they live in and they eat things that are available in the urban habitat Sara is reading about a strange lizard called chameleon. The chameleon's tongue is almost two times the length of its body. And if you, uh, without the tail, yes. Almost two times the length of its body without the tail. Chameleon can live for three to five years. So this is about her, uh, its age. Okay, habitat labs are also uh, constructed in urban areas and they are created by building natural habitats for plants and animals indoors so that they can be studied. These labs can be used to closely study the natural habitats of fish, of frogs, turtles, birds, etc. So they are kept in controlled environment so that they can be studied in the habitat labs. Now here is an investigation uh, that you have to conduct. The question is that what kinds of animals and plants live in the un- environment around your school? How do the animals and plants get their food and shelter? And what do you think is the answer? So you have to think of your answer and write your answer. That becomes your uh, hypothesis. Uh, your expected answer and what do you need for the experiment you need a notebook you need a pencil and hand lens and what will you do you will visit an open area around the school with your science teacher the teacher will rope off an area or mark its boundary in some other way so you will find lots and lots of insects within that Uh, area and maybe you will also see some birds and other animals. So what happens? You have to observe the environment to answer the questions. What does it look like? What kinds of animals and plants do you see? How are they similar and how are they different? What sort of food is there for each animal that you see? And what shelters are there for the animals? And in the end, you will write, what did you find out? Draw pictures to show what, what the environment looks like, or you can even capture pictures with a mobile or a camera. Draw pictures of the animals and plants that you see. Draw any food relationships that you observe. In the end of uh, this lesson, let's answer some questions. Name the terrestrial and the aquatic habitats. Number two, name two animals that live in each of the habitats. Number three, make a key chart and write two differences between 
the ocean and the freshwater habitats, the hot and the cold desert habitats, the rainforest and grassland habitats. So what did we learn in this particular chapter? Do you remember what you studied in the chapter? Draw a concept map and then also uh, do the exercise which, which is named Check It on page 39. Then I would want you to check whether you can define habitat. Are you able to define adaptation and identify its various kinds? Can you name the major habitats of the world? Can you tell a few adaptations of animals living in each kind of habitat? Can you compare and contrast different habitats? Can you list some animals that live in different kinds of habitats? Can you compare the adaptations of animals from different habitats? Can you do that? So check, put a tick mark in front of all the uh, questions that you can answer. Here is some of the vocabulary that we have learned uh, in this chapter. The first word is adaptations, landmass, desert, habitat, shed, herd, hump, oceans, survive, predator, prey, grasslands, rainforests, grazing, population, freshwater, tundra, bitter, bitter, and coat. Let's start doing the exercise. The first question says, Hathat is an imaginary animal that lives in an imaginary habitat called Harihari. The habitat is very hot in summers and very cold in winters. There is very little water available and even that freezes in winters. How would its body adapt to these weather conditions? What will it eat in summer and in winter? What is its skin like? How will it hide from its predators? So you have to do this in your notebook. The second question is, this is a duck. It walks on land and swims in water. Look at its feet. What are these kind of feet called and what are they used for? So her feet are different from that of a hen. A chicken's feet are different from those of a duck. Can you explain why? The next question is, give one word answers to the following questions. A. Which habitat is evergreen? Good. B. Which habitat is mostly grassy? Very good. Which habitat is covered with snow for most part of the year? Which habitat receives the most rainfall? Right. Which habitat receives the least rainfall? There are no shrubs in this habitat. Name a saltwater habitat. Which habitat covers the largest area on Earth? Which habitat has the highest temperature on Earth? The next question is, write down the similarities and differences between hot deserts and tundra, that is the cold deserts, in a Venn diagram. The fifth question is, write down the names of three animals that belong to each habitat, rainforest, grasslands, hot deserts, tundra, oceans, and fresh water. Number six, a student made the following bar graph to show the amount of rainfall in a rainforest, grassland, and desert. Is he correct? If not, can you correct the bar graph? So this one is for rainforest, this one is for desert, and this is for grassland. Number seven, write two adaptations of animals living in each of the following habitats, rainforests, grasslands, deserts, tundra, freshwater, and ocean habitat. 
Number eight. Salma is playing a game in which animals are asking about their habitats. Help her finish the game. Write one adaptation that each of them has and explain how it is helpful to them, to all these animals that are shown in the picture. Number nine, define the following terms. Habitat, grassland, population, desert, adaptation, rainforest, freshwater, tundra, marine water. 10. Predator is an animal that hunts another animal for food. Each habitat has a number of predators. Tell what is the prey of each of these predators. Discuss with your partners, uh, with your parents, sorry, and search from books or internet. Cheetah. Cheetah lives in grassland. Green anaconda. It lives in rainforest. Arctic fox. It lives in tundra. Number 11. Select different habitats in your neighborhood. Mark the boundary of your selected habitat with a string or rope. Write the features of these habitats. Draw the pictures of at least two animals that live in these habitats. 12. Prepare and present in front of your family members a role play on animals in their habitat. Here is a project for you. You have to make a diorama of animal habitat. First of all, choose the habitat that you want to work on. After that, make a list of items that you will use and collect them. Work in groups or with your siblings or your parents and make the habitat. Gather information about the chosen habitat and make a three to four pages booklet. Prepare a presentation and then present in front of your family. That's all. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.